So quite a while ago, Notion has released their AI, but it was first in the beta stage, so now it is finally here for everyone. But unlike many other AI, they're actually charging $10 per month. So I actually already had time to play around with the tools that it has to offer, and I wouldn't say it is very impressive what they have to offer, so that is why I have chosen five things that are truly exciting for me as an Ocean user and something that you might even consider switching from GPT to Notion AI because of those five things. But before we start, I actually wanted to show you guys how to get a few months of Notion AI for free. So all you would have to do is you would have to navigate to your Notion dashboard. When you create an account, you get $5 of credit balance and you can find them in the settings. So down below you have ways to earn credit and down below you have ways to earn credit and here i only have three however on other accounts i actually do have much more i had up to six so that gets us to a total of like 35 dollars which gets you three months of notion ai so the first thing on the list is making our notes 10 times smaller so the thing i like about notion is that you can pretty much go on any website for example forget about the road why are chickens so bad at flying? But let's say you're not bothered to read it and you can just copy paste the link. You can go into the Notion AI, type space to activate a shortcut and you would choose summarize, double colon, put in the link. And that gets you the summary of the website. Then you can just type in expand and here you have more information, but that's not really the point. So what I want to show you is you can actually ask Notion AI here to make it easier to read and bullet point the most important information because after all you don't want to have a lot of information in your notion it just becomes too messy so here we have the bullet points finally but again it doesn't look as clean as it could be so what i would do is i would make it easier to read and now you have the bullet points however that is not the maximum extent of notion ai what you could do is you could ask it to highlight the most important information with bold text okay so here we have the selection it just highlighted so it's easier to read it and now this is when it gets interesting so we have the bullet points here as well as the bold text so by scanning through the text which is pretty much the point of using notion effectively and the last thing we can do to take it even a step further you would also highlight it again press command j or ctrl j i believe on windows and you can ask it to add emojis to the important information so it is easier to read okay and now we have perfectly summarized bullet pointed bold text and emojis and it's super easy to read and that gets us to the second thing which is turning messy drafts into aesthetic tables so another feature of notion is obviously you want to have everything organized so uh, for example here if you are like me this is exactly how i do my to-do list so I would use an app like Todoist or just send it to myself in Telegram and save messages. But then it would get so messy that it is even just impractical. But then it would get so messy that it's just impractical to use it. So here we have things like clean the house, which is something to do with the home. But then schedule doctor's appointment, which is again completely out of the category. Update resume, that is something related to work. And learn a new skill, this could be a habit. So here's how we make it better select them all right click that is just another shortcut to the ai and you would ask it to make a table organizing all tasks into categories add emojis and now you get a table with tasks on the left category on the right and it has the emoji so it's easier to read so i actually don't like the fact that they're messy so for example finance at the bottom and finance at the top what you would do is sort by category now everything is in one spot, we can replace the selection and we have a table. But the best part here, that is not everything you can do. So once you have this table, I look at it, it does look a bit nicer. But, but my issue with this is I actually don't know what to prioritize. Like it just looks like a messy to-do list. So you would ask AI to add a column with priority. And that adds you the priority column on the right. And then you would just sort by priority. Okay, and now we have a, a static table that looks way better than the messy draft we had before. And we didn't have to do anything manually. So everything was done by the AI. 
And to be honest, I wouldn't say it did a bad job, like probably walking the dog would be high priority, but if you have a list, give it a try. Changing a bit there and a bit here doesn't take as much time as much it would take you to do it yourself. And for example, if you have more tasks that you have wrote somewhere, now you have transported them to Notion, like here, research the company and the position, blah, blah, blah. What you would do, actually, you wouldn't input them one by one. Notion AI can take care of it as well. You would just choose them all at once, right click, ask AI, and you will ask merge into a single table. Replace selection, and now you can see that you have a forever lasting table that you can use as your to-do list and it looks much more appealing and if you want to have everything in notion that is obviously the way to go and if you for example have like integrations with like todoist or like google calendar with your notion they would just bring the tasks from the integration itself into notion you would select it all and you would use the notion ai to do the job for you to organize it as aesthetically as you want all right and that gets us to the point three i think it's Yes, that is spend less time researching so what i mean by that is for example you want to get a new iphone or you want to get a new samsung but you're unsure which one to get so you would need to compare them there are obviously a lot of articles that talk about pros and cons for each however there is a lot of water in them so it would take ages for you to actually have a good decision and have them side by side or to at least find the table that is side by side so what you can actually do is you would just go into your browser you would type in whatever it is let's just choose iphone for this time you would copy the link go to notion and ask it to make a comparison table of give it the first link versus and that is important give it the second link and here we have a summarized information from all of the websites that we had previously and obviously always you can just choose them and ask it to expand with more information in case you need more detail and for example if you're a creator or you have like an essay to write in school that is actually a really good way just to have a comparison maybe you want notion ai to write it for you like an essay or a blog post or you just use this information so instead of actually scrolling through a lot of like useless articles you just have it all in one place that is just overall a good method to research or study something and that gets us to the next point which is studying like an einstein actually better than him so i'm actually a student myself and i had a spanish lesson before and this was one of the texts from the lesson and i have zero clue what it's about so by looking through it i my first thing is what am i studying here you can choose the entire text obviously, and ask Notion to make some words bold that are useful for a Spanish beginner. Okay, and that gets us, for example, nervioso, blah, 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 and, and that is already a good step, and we can now make a table out of those bold texts. However, the next thing I want to do is I want to make a translation of the text, but keeping the bold words highlighted. So you would simply ask, translate into English, but keep the bold text highlighted and here we have a translation with those words highlighted and you would just simply insert below and now you have things that are actually interesting obviously now the next thing that comes up is highlighting both of them and asking ai to make us a table with those highlighted words and to do that you would just simply ask it to make a table of bold words in spanish and english okay and we can actually highlight one side with bold so it's easy to distinguish and obviously we don't want to stop here we want to take it a step further so you can actually highlight this entire table and ask ai to make us questions below just like flashcards which we would answer to and we would open them to assess ourselves and for this you would simply ask it to make a practice test for the translations and that gives us english to spanish translation practice test you can insert it below and you can hide the answers here so for example you can just not look at them or turn it into a toggle list later on and there's another cool thing i want to add it is flashcards you can actually select your chosen words and you can ask ai to make flashcards for another app let's say if you're using quizlet or you're using something like flashcards by duolingo i think there's one so you would just simply ask it to make flashcards and it does it in the form of question and answer you it's just like what is the english translation of nervioso and you would just simply transport it all to a flashcard app that you use 
And now you would take it and transport it to a flashcard app that you use. And obviously it doesn't stop at the study part. It can be your job, for example, and that gets us to the work smarter, not harder. So the way it works, you can use Notion AI for your nine to five sufferings or if you have a business. So let's say you work at Amazon and let's say this is your requirement from work to make an announcement for the new 12 hour delivery by Amazon. So now we can simply just choose this one, ask AI to make a Twitter post. But here is the best part. So since we are, are in the same spot, we can continue doing that for the rest. So for example, make a LinkedIn post, but keep it more professional and longer. You just insert below, mark it as LinkedIn. So, and then you rinse and repeat, but that is not something unique. The good part is that if you go into the Ask AI at the bottom, there is a lot of templates. So for example, creative story, essay, social media post. So you don't actually have to think much. You just do the thing and it, it just puts it all in one spot, or you can ask it to make Twitter posts, LinkedIn, all in one prompt. And if you work for a big company, now that you have everything in one place, you can just choose it all and ask AI to translate it to something like Japanese. So this point is not very much unique from ChatGPT. However, if you have a big project, it is always good to keep everything in one place. But when you use ChatGPT, you just have to copy paste everything from there on. And it's just that with Notion AI, you just keep everything in one place. And that leads us to the end of the video. So to be honest, with all those five things in mind, it is very appealing that this costs only $10. And as a matter of fact, if you are a Notion user and you have everything in Notion, because again, it substitutes a lot of things, I gotta say, this is a real time booster for students, for employees, for business owners, for creators, for just everyone. However, if you don't have spare $10 just sitting around, which you can spend, and there's ChatGPT that does it for free, for now, it's really a big question if it's worth just spending the last budget. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see the part two. I can explore the Notion AI a bit more and maybe find more tips that are actually much more unique than ChatGPT. I will see you in the next one.